Greetings from the Spider Slayer, and we just saw Black Adam today, and so we decided to do a review, and we're gonna ask the question, was it any good? And we're gonna say, with an aesthetic, yes it was indeed. It's everything that we thought it would be. Not overthought, but not boring. So much action, the kind of action that we loved from the 80s and the 90s. Oh, we really love the style of The Rock. So anyway, let's get into the meat of the story. 5,000 years ago, there was a kingdom called Kadok that was being ruled by a savage king. And he wanted all his people to mine a special ore so he could make a special crown. So he could bestow upon himself the power of the demons. But then, all of a sudden, Teth Adam was given the powers of the gods to fight this evil that was getting to his people in Kadok. And what happens is he winds up not only taking down the king, but in his rage he also uses his powers to get absolute revenge. When this is done, then Black Adam, or what he's called by that time, he is being put into a tomb and locked away for thousands of years. In fact, it's not until 5,000 years later that his tomb is discovered by our antagonist who she is an archaeologist who learned about the crown that would bestow upon the king the power of the demons and knew that she had to go get it and protect it from the rest of the world. Meanwhile, as she does this, Black Adam, he becomes sentient again because she says the magic words that release him. And once he's released from his prison, now he is just fighting against all of these new enemies that he has in Qatar because he's not understanding or knowing what's going on yet but then he doesn't realize that he's also being tracked by who the justice society and they decide that guy gotta take matters into their own hands but don't realize don't mess with black adam yo he's too dangerous to hear wolf flow so anyway what we liked about this movie was that we liked the old school nods to the characters and we like the fact that, you know, Black Adam, you know, we granted that this is not the original story. However, this story is really good because as you guys may or may not heard, there is a special surprise at the end of the movie. So I tell everybody as I was watching this movie and I was watching people walking away and I'm telling people, stay, stay. One guy said, this is not a Marvel movie. I said, I know, stay. I'm not going to tell you what it is as I'm not a spoiler. I just wanted to explain to you guys what I thought about Black Adam overall. So this is what I think. Don't worry about the story too much. Don't dig too deep into it. The story is all over the place. However, I do see structure coming for what I've seen in this movie. This movie can kick off a franchise of the DC Universe that we all been waiting for for decades. And believe me, I'm a Marvel fan saying this, and I want to see Rocky succeed in this. And I believe that The Rock was a great choice for this. He is Black Adam. I don't care what anybody says. His origin story, it was okay, but I can say this much without a shadow of a doubt. I believe that this movie will make a billion dollars for sure. Rock D. Johnson did it again. And I'm telling you right now, The Rock was the perfect man, because you know who he brings back. I'm not going to say his name again, man. But anyway, this is exactly how we rate this movie. If we had a rating between a 1 and a 10, we're going to give it about a 6. And we'll give that a good score of 6 because we feel like there is more texture to be taken. However, I do feel for what the movie lacks, it also makes up for an rock and sock em energy explosion. So go grab a big bucket of popcorn and enjoy because this movie is a little long. But trust me when I tell you, you guys will be well entertained. And that's all we got for Black Adam. Enjoy all from the Spider Slayer.